Hey, what's up guys? This is me, Matt, here with Tip Trick Thursday. And today's tip trick will be how to take out clan castle troops. Most people know how to take them out with lightning spells or dropping a whole bunch of troops on people. But I'm going to show you behind the scenes and other ways that you can eliminate troops. So right now I have to lure out the clan castle. I always say that wrong. So thank God I said it right. I had to say it slow, but you know. <laughs> I dropped a balloon because my minions kept dying. I didn't waste want to waste too many because they are my cleanup troops. So now I realize that I have all the clan castle troops out. So what I want to do is get them. They're too close to the edge. And that would be good if they were wizards, but since they're just a whole bunch of archers, like I would say 25 archers, I got to get them right in the right in that little pocket so my balloon when they shoot at it crashes down so I failed I probably took out one because I see a skeleton so I'm gonna drop two and boom the splash damage killed about mm, 20 of them I would say so there's just like four left or five so I killed about 19 with the splatter I mean if it was wizards it work, works really good with wizards because they take out the balloon fast so Place it right under them and then boom, they all die. So that's another way that you can use. So instead of using a lightning spell, you can just bring one balloon with you or two balloons with you and then take them out like that. So with the rest of the raid, you know, it wasn't that much loot, but it was almost a thousand dark elixir and 171 gold, thousand gold. So I figured, you know, it has clan castle troops. Why not put it in my how-to and attack it anyways? So that healing spell right there was kind of a waste. You know, I didn't realize it until just now. After I placed it, that my balloons didn't really need to get healed. But, you know, it's alright. So for the rest of the base, it's just clean up troops. You know, there's just one Tesla. So... Right now, I'm just waiting for my balloons to take out the Barb King so that I can drop my Archer Queen and my Barbarian King without any worries. And I'm going to use their special abilities like real quick just to get extra troops on the battlefield. And I have videos, you know, saved. Like, I already have videos that I got made. I just need to commentate over them. So, there is going to be a video out tomorrow. Right after school, um, I would say like around 3 or 4 o'clock. It depends on like what homework I have to do. But, you know, it shouldn't be that hard. So, yeah. It will be out around, I would say, 3 to 6. No time later than 6. 7 maybe, maybe 7. I would say 7 the latest. But... The what happened? Why this is a defensive replay is one, the troops took too long and I couldn't fast forward it, and two, I couldn't. The screen blacked out on me. So, what you want to do is drop one barb and then either one or two Valkyrie. If you have like level three Valkyrie, they should be good. But she's made four clan castle troops. If you didn't really see it because it was quick. You could rewind it. It takes out two giants with a couple swings. And then it almost took out the other two. But, you know, it had they have a lot of health. And she's level 1. But if she was level 3, she would definitely take out all the giants out. And it works better with barbs and archers. Because one swing will take all of them out. So, she's a really good troop. I love having at least two of her when I attack. Really good for clan castle troops. <clears throat> so... She's like a mini lightning spell in Dark Elixir form. And as a troop. So for the last way to take out a clan castle troop. This is going to be a dragon. Reason why a dragon not regular troop. Is because um, a lot of people don't know how to take out dragons or barb kings and queens. So if you don't know, watch this. If you do, then you know, you, know, you can skip it. <laughs> but basically what you want to do is spread out your archers. And drop a little bit of barbs, like one at a time, so the dragon gets confused. And don't shoot all your archers down at once. And same with the barb king. 
you can spread your archers out a little bit and then just drop a couple barbarians. That way it takes the Barb King a little while to walk to the <clears throat> archers because he has to walk each one. And same with the Archer Queen. So now on with the raid since I don't have to worry about any more Clan Castle troops or a Barb King. I'm just spamming wall breakers. I had a random witch and some dragons on this raid. So I take out the one air defense and drop the other two right after. One goes for the town hall, one goes for the <clears throat> mine. Yeah, sorry. So I go ahead and drop a rage spell along with my king and queen because there are air defenses that's level 4 on the bottom of the base. And I know they're going to die, so I want at least some backup troops. Because I wasted all my infantry on like <laughs> the air defense and the king and dragon. So, there's a seeking air mine, but it didn't really matter. It was a waste for him, because that dragon was about to die anyways. So, I get all this guy's gold, and I try to snag some dark elixir. But I use my... <laughs> Queen's special ability a little bit too early because now she's getting shot by three different the four different defenses and it would have been a good time to use her special ability and then either rage or heal her to get the rest of the 300 dark elixir but you know live and learn mistakes happen it's better than the fail time that like my queen died before she got to town hall but anyways that's the end of this video. Not much loot in this one, but it's just a how-to, so I'm not worried about loot. So, this is the end of Tip Trick Thursday, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.